Hi Leo, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and darlings, this is your What The Fuck reading 1st to the 15th of December. I'm doing fortnightly readings in December because I want to get your um, Christmas and New Year readings done as well and I just don't think I'm going to have the time to do weeklies and get them done as well and I think that they're really important, especially like the new year one and I didn't want to do new year's ones in October or November I just don't see the point in it so um next week I will be concentrating on um the holidays for you so be Christmas and obviously new year and then the new year's readings will be um kind of like I think I'm going to use one of the spreads that I used once before and that was to do a reading and then give you a card per month with a clarifier um so i'll look at that and i'll see if i can dig that old reading out so i think that worked quite well so lovelies um i think that's it for the announcements oh the daily shorts i've restarted those um so they are about to start going up for the 1st of December um, yes yeah, so I've got quite a few of those done so let's get on with your reading lovelies if you like what I do hit the like button if you don't hit the dislike button simple as that if um, if you want to join the tribe hit the subscribe um, and the bell beside it that lets you know when I'm putting up the notifications and above all leave me some messages I like messages um yeah so your energy for this fortnight feast of plenty choices and their consequences now when I got this once before I thought crikey that's a crystal ball and it's got two swords stuck in it they're not actually stuck in it to be honest with you but you've got this beautiful crystal making its way out of the crystal ball you've got a B there so it could be that you're going to be cutting some things out it could be that you're seeing your future more clearly it could be that you're going to be doing some conservation work you've got um grapes and god knows what else at the bottom here it there's loads of choices and consequences darn is whatever you do if you make a choice um see it through don't try and backtrack because it's not working for you you have deep diver diving into a task wow so that's a 20, this is a 10, the 10s for me are a completion, so I'm getting that you're completing a task at the moment, um, but there's all this other stuff at the back waiting for you to choose what you're doing next, where you're going next, um, so far so good lovelies, I love this card, isn't this pretty, caterpillar, opportunity oh my gosh choices and opportunities wow well wow. this when i got this out the last time um <clears throat> i got that if you look at this card there's eyes all the way down this caterpillar and i kind of get the feeling that you've got your eye on a goal um, and you're working diligently towards it and that may be the end task that you're doing but there's all these options and choices behind you um, and it's almost like you're going to emerge from the caterpillar stage into the butterfly stage quite easily I don't get that there's going to be any stagnation, nothing like that at all. Wow. I have never seen this card before. Horned Cactus. Resourcefulness. Now, if you think about a cactus, it holds on to all of the 
water that it needs within itself it does and you know it's one of these really clever things that it it can take moisture from the air and just store it i don't know why she has done a horned cactus though i'm trying to look to see if i've got the book at hand because it would be interesting what her thoughts are around this is this the book no I found it because I have never seen that one before so let's just have a quick read and see what it says blooming through resilience resourcefulness and discovery when nothing seems to be happening fast enough and your ideas have dried up you begin to question your relevance during these periods in life you might feel like giving up frustrated and resentful that success will never happen well I'm telling you it is going to happen because that's there so let's see what the ending bit says the desert is a mystical place filled with mystery creatures beautifully adapted to their environment what was I saying about this cactus the horned cactus tells you to take heart this journey is only temporary and you will soon be met with a green, with greener pastures. But first you must acknowledge your inner strength and fortitude as you as you're tested here. Be the cactus resilient and resourceful. And it's all about thriving. It's all about the gift of water um, so your feast of plenty choices and their consequences the de deep dive and the divine diving into a task and then you've got the caterpillar and you've got the horned cactus stone something massive is happening around Jay. I'm getting that you might just be doubling here and there uh, maybe the reason you need to dive deep into a task is because maybe, Leo, you've been dabbling to task, to task, to task, but never really ending or finishing any of them. And now you've got to kind of backtrack a little bit um, back to stage one, finish all those tasks off because there is something quite phenomenal around you. You've got a 20 there. You've got a 10 there. So that's a cycle, finishing and starting. You've got the number four card. Now, my four cards are my stability cards. They are, um, you know what it is that you want and you know what it is that you don't want, basically. And then you've got the horned cactus. Now, that's a number 11. That's a learning card. In numerology, 11 is one of the prime numbers. 11, 22, 44. The higher you get, the higher, nearer to the divine you get. The 11 is the first one. It is your learning one. It's your learning and your teaching one. So what you learn, you pass on by teaching it to somebody else. Wow. Leo. So let's see what started your what the fuck for this fortnight, Leo. First to the 15th of December. There's a little bit of a story there, my darlings. Facing your fears and taking your power back. Manifestations and wish fulfillments. Why they may be fucked. Movement and journey, where the fuck you need to be. What's Leo's journey like this time? Oh, thank you. 
what you can do about this situation, Leo. Oh, that one. I think the others are all on the damn floor, and there's two there. Okay. Oh, honestly, there's been a lot on the floors recently and I have to say when I'm having difficulty picking it up I'm getting that a lot of people are so fucking exhausted that they're having difficulties picking themselves up so if that's you um, hold heart my darlings because um, that will come to a close it will come to an end I'm just kind of getting the people are just exhausted. Lovely's the winter. Our ancestors knew the rights of winter. And winter was the time where you would rest. And we're coming into that now, the 1st of December. Um, it's the time of hibernation. The animals still do it. They've got it right. We've forgotten. We have forgotten to hibernate. We've forgotten to hold ourselves up in our homes and just rest through the winter months um, because that's what our ancestors they rested and recuperated um, they knew it was dangerous to be going out in the winter months they knew um, that it would um, be a bit futile doing anything on the land or even and that's why they did everything in the other nine months. Um, all the crops, all the raising of the animals, all of that sort of thing. So, yeah, so just keep in mind that if that's how you're feeling, take some time off. Um, go and just read a book. Do something that is going to keep you at home. And I'm not talking about bloody lockdowns or anything like that. I mean at home because you want to be there because it is your cocoon it is your place of safety um, if it's not your place of safety then you really need to look again um, at where it is that you you need to be um, where you can re stop think and recharge is what I'm gonna say so lovelies what started your what the fuck for the 1st to the 15th of December, you got the star card. Now, I have to say, this is the healing card, as you know. Um, and as you step into those waters and you start the healing process, and this is ongoing healing. This isn't a bit of Reiki down the road and a bit of Rahani over the phone. This is the fairy is trying to tell you by these beautiful um, and that this is eternal waters of healing this isn't just about healing from our hurts in this lifetime um, it's about healing hurts from past lifetimes that we've carried forward with us um, but it's also about ongoing healing it's about thinking we've healed from something and we've gone along our merry way thinking yep yeah, we're really happy thank you very much and all of a sudden something happens and that hurt comes back to bite us on the arses. It does. So she's telling you, come on, this is ongoing. This is something you should be doing regularly, meditating, being still, going within your thoughts. Just giving some attention to you, your heart, your soul, your thought processes, all of those things. Because what happens is, is when you start to heal, you then start to see the flicker of the star. And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until your manifestations and your dreams start to come to fruition. So Leo, the next card we have got is the Two of Wands. Um, so not only are you healing and manifesting like mad... If there's a quest that you want to go on you want to leave your comfort zone in order to quest something in order to find something out a bit of a journey here isn't there because you've been through hell and back recently you have the ten of a thames, but you've sorted it you've dealt with it you've dealt with it you've you've built that 
circle of protection around you now you've dealt with those issues and problems you're ready to go forward because nothing's going to phase you anymore you've got to be able to deal with this with dignity and grace i have to say um but all of those thames do lead to a new beginning and that new beginning darling could be a new open illuminated door but there's some sort of determination that you're walking away from something and you are not looking back you're not there is no inclination for you to turn around whatsoever that door is just so enticing it's at a jar and you just want to know what the fuck is behind it and the reason for that my love is is that you've got the page of wands there has been an obstacle magically moved out of the way it could have been a self obstacle it could have been an obstacle somebody else put in the way but this little page of wands here maybe a younger version of yourself may have said something or something you've remembered has suddenly made you think hold on a second i'm moving that out of the way it doesn't need to be there so the healing the questing the going through hell and sorting it out has led you to walking away from something because this block has magically just moved out of the way it's gone whatever it was it has shifted and i'm getting that you 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 felt it you know that it's not there anymore so lovely is your new beginning you're facing your fears and taking your power back there's a new beginning around your career your finances and your home life you could be moving you could be moving for a new job or it could be a new job that's kind of coming to where you're living could be any kind of combination but it does mean that money is going to be looking a lot better for you in the near future um new beginnings face and your fears the face i think the face and the fears for you is if you have been doing the same thing for a long time um and you've suddenly decided to have a change that means you face the fear of change and then taking your power back is just walking head on into this new beginning and just embracing it for exactly what it is so your manifestation your wish fulfillment and why it may be fucked darlings your manifest it i don't understand this because i used to get this a lot for you leo and it's almost like you kick yourself in the shins so if you are in the position where you are self-restricting and self-limiting and you're trying to find a way out of that, know that it's you. You just need to release that trap. The bear's looking at it going, the fuck are you doing? I ain't putting my paw in there. I'm dancing with the wood nymphs. You can do what you want. I'm off. Literally, it's you. You have got to release that trap you have got the answer in your hands you have but if you are manifesting something to come round naturally don't then think for one second if it does come round to you that you are going to be able to trap that essence that energy because it's not going to work but I am getting that it's you manifesting your way out of self self restriction and self limitation, and that bear is like that bear's your best mate, and that bear's looking at you going, "What the fuck, really, really? You're not supposed to be a trapper. You're supposed to be the releaser of traps, Leo. So just release the trap and let it go. Just let it go." So your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. You've got the Queen of Athame is Leo. Um, any other position, I might have said this is something to do with you, but I'm not getting that. This is somebody around you. This is going to be Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. She is a no-nonsense no, no, no queen. She's got a bloody weapon, for Christ's sake. She's got an Athame, a knife, a big fuck-off knife. 
Now, there's lots of different uses for this. She's highly intelligent, highly intuitive. She can come across as not really wanting to make decisions. But when she does, oh boy, do they fucking cut deep. From the universe with that knife. She can draw the energy down that she needs to be able to cut out what she no longer feels that serves her. She can get rid of the debris, the, the overgrowth, the undergrowth, the dead growth. And she can sweep the decks completely clean. She does not like lies. She doesn't like lies. She doesn't like even the innuendo of a situation that there could possibly be a lie. She can't bear. He said, she said. She can't stand inequality. She just doesn't like it. Male or female. If it's a male, this person's a male around you, they're going to be slightly gentler than the king. He's pretty fearsome, the king. Uh, she's slightly gentler. They do have a connection between their heart and their head. They are thinkers. So if you have got an air sign around you and they can't make a decision, it's not that they're procrastinating. They are mulling over a thousand and one questions. And they get to a thousand and one and they could have had all the answers in the world. And that one question at the end gives them more questions. They'll just go back to the beginning and start all over again. It's not that they don't want to make the decision. They need to be fair when they're making decisions. They need to have balance in making decisions. So just know if this is somebody around you, they're asking you to cut away what no longer serves you. Let things go that have died off and are no longer any good for you in your life. And if you do that on your journey, you have the witch this is a wonderful card. This is go back to basics. This is go back to basics. This is go back to who you thought you should be. This is recapturing that essence of you, a younger you. This is you. If you practice magic, get rid of the par paraphernalia. If you practice any kind of faith and you've just collected a load of shit around it, go back to basics, to the teachings of what, what it is that you think you know but then look at the real teachings and see if it's been distorted in any way go back to basics that's what they're asking you to have faith in this process but go back to basics reteach yourself over again because there is a spiritual shift waiting to happen around you and then we have the crone now she has walked her journey for a long time she has she's been gathering knowledge and wisdom she is wise beyond anybody else on the planet and that gorgeous creature that walks beside her offers her the strength to continue this journey of gathering that knowledge and that wisdom that she so desires and so needs in order for her to um support the strength side of everything and it may be that there is something that you need to make a decision about something that is no longer serving you something that is going to make you rethink your recent choices your recent collection of whatever it is it doesn't have to be materialistic it can be thought processes it can be belief systems either even but she has got the knowledge and wisdom and she's saying you're not far off of the knowledge and wisdom that you need to continue your own journey on your own path. If you, the difference between organised faith and having a spiritual experience is organised faith is you're having the spiritual experience of somebody else. If you have got your own spiritual ideas, whether it is loosely or fiercely attached to um, organised faith, or you've just made it up as you're going along, no, that is your own spiritual experience. The moment you start to question organised faith, the moment you start to have your own thoughts, feelings and beliefs around an organised faith, that is you waking up. That is you having this moment of, hold on a second... 
I'm a spiritual being in my own right. How comes, yeah, do, you know, it is, there's an awakening here. Massive awakening. So what you can do about the situation. You've been waiting around for something or somebody from overseas. You're on the docks. You're looking at that ship and you're not quite sure whether... Um, it's coming in towards you or whether you need to go out towards it but my darlings you have got such a lot of inner turmoil going on and I heard the word turmoil and I didn't want to use it but it is turmoil it's not even you're not second guessing yourself or anything like that you know where you want to be but there's this kind of inner gut feeling like I want to be there, but I'm not sure it's right for me. Darlings, if it's not right for you, if you get that feeling, just take a breath and be still. Just be still and absorb the moment. Do not get into having this inner turmoil, this inner conflict, um, because that will turn into a, an external conflict. What goes at, What's within comes out, whether you like it or not. It does, and you're a fire sign. Um, so if you've been waiting patiently for something, don't stop waiting patiently just because that inner conflict is getting the better of you. Leave it where it is. If you want to, go towards what it is that you think should be coming towards you. So my lovelies. What can't you do about this fortnight? What is out of your hands, Page of Pentacles? There's something new coming in towards you. Now, your toolkit in life may be well equipped. It may be. But something's going to come along and go, yeah, do it this way. And you're going to see the magic in that. Do it that way. And you're going to see the magic in that. You're going to see some different ways of doing things. Some different ways of becoming that master craftsman. Um with this little page who is in his apprenticeship and it's almost like the universe is saying you've got to go through another apprenticeship to get to exactly where you want to be so lovelies reconnecting to your true self you have the advocate he is the horn god he is the advocate for everything in nature he gives everything a voice that hasn't got a voice he speaks up he protects all of that sort of stuff and what he's coming along he's coming along tapping you on the shoulder and he's reminding you have your voice have your say speak up do n not that i think any leo i know would like hide their light under a bushel they just wouldn't um but there is some circumstances that i know where they do go very quiet and that's spooky and the reason he's saying speak up is because there is somebody tapping you dry and it doesn't necessarily have to be finances it could be emotionally and they're coming back for more and i distinctly heard stop putting up with this bollocks and bullshit get rid of it do not ask that door do not talk to them hold on to what you've got because you need it for yourself because in comes you with options choices blessings ideas and here you are you've gone from the apprentice to the craftsman in one reading you've got some choices to make and that's what this is telling you feast of plenty choices and this is your choices and it's possibly going to be how you're going to make your money could be that you're building something for the future but you are going to reconnect to your true self by having that voice Telling someone where the fuck to go because they're not doing you any favours whatsoever. They are bleeding you dry. Um, and then you're going to turn around and you're going to see what you've done has actually built something for the future. Um, you're not quite at the master craftsman yet, but you are the craftsman. And you know that you can make good on anything that you touch. So, my darlings, your outcome, Leo. Six of a theme is... You are moving into much calmer waters. You are going to be moving quite gently, I'm getting, 
quite gently towards your future, towards what it is that you see as your ultimate goal. Um, don't forget to enjoy the journey on the way, lovelies. That is all important. But Leo, you could have been stuck somewhere for a while, darling. You've got the Lord of Shadows. And it could be that you took a step back from something, a relationship, maybe even life itself, a job, whatever it is. But you've now decided, hold on a minute, and you've peeped out and you've emerged like a butterfly. And you're like, I really want to be part of this again. I want to step on that path. I want to go to that wishing well. Um, I want to get my manifestation, my wish fulfillment, and I want to join in with what's going on in my life again. Um, so it could be that you actually have had a break already, but clearly, um, you know, the winter break is going to be important for you because that is where you are going to be able to literally recharge and regenerate um, what it is that you've been doing that's exhausted you. And I'm still getting that feeling of exhaustion massively ex exhausted anything else no nope. so the whispering woods have given you friends the most unlikely friendships can form like variegated lichens on hard rock they create a tight bond that's a lovely card. That's come out actually. I'm not sure. Was it Libra that had that? Was I even. No, it wasn't. I did Aries, didn't I? It might have been Aries. So you're um, the other fire sign. Yeah, possibly. So let's ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance. First to the 15th of December for Leo, please. Anything else for Leo? Thank you. So, my lovelies. Oh, this one. So we have got Peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. We have Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. We have She-Wolf, unleash the world within. Pop that one back under there, I didn't know I'd pick that up. Warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. And lastly, High Priest, intend and create. Darlings, that is your reading, 1st to the 15th. Wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.